worms. While they may seem insignificant, one of the biggest pioneers of science, best known for his theory of evolution, deemed these wriggling organisms the most important creatures on Earth. Charles Darwin studied the curious crawlers for 38 years before publishing a book on them, shortly before his death in 1881. If Darwin considered worms to be so important, then it must be true. From being too awesome for common organs like lungs, having multiple hearts, the ability to regenerate parts of their body, and being older than Earth itself, uh, well, almost. Here are 15 wow-worthy facts about worms. Worms will become paralyzed if exposed to light for too long. Known to crawl along the Earth's crust, worms are found burrowing in the dark, damp soil and are thus very sensitive to light. Worms do not have eyes, so they use their barely transparent skin to detect sunlight on its own. In fact, worms will even scurry away from the sun's rays so that their skin stays moist. If worms are exposed to light for more than an hour, they will become paralyzed. Once this happens, they find themselves unable to burrow back into the darkness, and thus they shrivel and die. 14. Worms breathe through their skin and have no lungs. All living animals need oxygen, but worms are an astonishing exception as to how they receive said oxygen. Worms cannot breathe in through their mouths, and they don't have a nose either. Instead of lungs, worms have a thin, permeable skin through which oxygen in the air passes through their thin, almost translucent bodies. The moist mucus on a worm's skin helps to dissolve the oxygen. Therefore, they need to stay moisturized. If a worm dries out, they suffocate. And on the contrary, if their environment is too moist, they drown. 13. Worms can regenerate some segments of their body. This is one of the most misunderstood worm facts. If you cut a worm in half, depending on where the cut is, it can regenerate lost segments. Basically, worms have five hearts located close to the head and before the clitella. If you cut a worm behind the clitella, then it may be able to regenerate its tail. Cool, right? But don't try it just to see, otherwise you'll have to worm your way out of a mean situation as cutting something in half just to see if it grows back is never nice. Before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to What Lurks Below and hit the bell to get notified of future releases, such as this one. 12. Worms are cold-blooded and have five hearts. Because worms are cold-blooded, they can't regulate their temperature like mammals can. This means their body temperature will be the same as their surroundings. That's why cool climates under the soil are ideal, and too much sun exposure is borderline life-threatening. Worms do not have a multi-chambered heart, as mammals and reptiles do. Instead, they have five single-chambered aortic arches, functions similar to a heart, which pump blood through their body. The five hearts are close to the head of the worm, so while they may be cold-blooded, they're not at all malicious and what they lack in blood type, they make up by having multiple hearts instead. 11. The average lifespan of a worm varies. The life expectancy of worms can vary wildly, depending on the species. In a protected and stable environment, some species of worm can live up to four to eight years. In the wild, because worms have many predators, their lifespans tend to be very short-lived. In general, the average lifespan of a composting worm is about two years. 10. Worms have tiny hairs on each segment. Known to crawl along the Earth's crust on their writhing bellies, worms are equipped with teeny tiny bristles all over their bodies, known as setae. Each segment contains setae, which help the creature move through soil and allow the organism to grip the surrounding dirt. The setae are very strong and are formed from the same material that makes up our fingernails. 9. They are capable of loving themselves. Worms are so amazing, they can breed on their own terms. The 
these profound parasites are born hermaphroditic, which means they possess both male and female sexual organs. One species in particular, the red wiggler, cannot produce offspring alone. But that's okay. We can't always do everything on our own. Hey, adult worms have a ring called a clitella. An active worm breeder can be identified from their distinctive ring called a clitella band. You can identify adult breeding worms by this distinctive ring-shaped band called a clitella. Worms mate by lining up their heads and attaching themselves at the clitella. A cocoon is then formed at the clitella band. Want to know if a worm is claimed? Simply check if they're wearing a ring. 7. Baby worms hatch from cocoons A mature red wiggler room can produce two to three cocoons per week. Cocoons are small, lemon-shaped, and yellowish-gold coloured. For red wiggler worms, the hatchlings inside the cocoon can take up to 11 weeks to mature before they hatch. Each cocoon usually hatches two to four baby worms. Cocoons can be dormant for years until conditions are right. But did you know? A worm colony can double in population every 60 to 90 days. 6. The longest worm in the world The Gippsland giant earthworm is one of the largest earthworms in the world. They average 4 feet long, are approximately 1 inch in diameter, and can reach up to 10 feet long in the wild. The Gippsland giant earthworm is a protected species only found in a small pocket of land near the bottom of mainland Australia. When the Gippsland giant earthworm was first discovered in the 1870s, it was mistaken for a snake. The largest earthworm ever found was in South Africa, measuring 22 feet long. 5. Worms digest half their body weight on average each day Worms are fast food processors and can digest about half of their body weight each day. The average food waste from a family of four would need about 20,000 worms to process each day. A worm's digestive system is a tube which runs straight from the front of the mouth and all the way to the rear. This means the entire length of their body is one long intestinal tract. Four. There are about 6,000 different kinds of earthworms. It just so happens that worms are present on all continents, except Antarctica. There are about 6,000 species of earthworm, and they are an invasive species. Their introduction can alter many different variables in the soil ecosystem, which is probably why Darwin deemed them one of the most important animals on Earth. 3. Worms are older than the dinosaurs The first dinosaurs appeared around 231 million years ago, in a time called the Mesozoic Era. Earthworms predate all vertebrates in general, and have been around for about 600 million years. So while they may be the most preyed upon animals, they've also managed to develop some serious survival skills. 2. Worms are 90% water Worms are so dependent on moisture that they are 90% made up of water. To give a good comparison, humans are about 75% water. That's why if they don't stay moist or are exposed to light for too long, they will surely die. 1. If worms eat too much protein, they can appear deformed. One of the most intriguing worm facts is the phenomenon of protein poisoning, also known as a sour crop. Did you know that if worms eat too much protein, they can struggle to digest it, and grave danger occurs? For example, the food in the worm's intestines can start to ferment due to acidity, and the buildup of gases can rupture the worm's intestines, causing irreparable damage. This can leave the worms deformed, even looking like a string of pearls. In most cases, this situation can be avoided by not overfeeding your worms. Like goldfish, these wormy wrigglers are not able to say no to a good meal or a full belly. What's the weirdest worm fact on this list? Share your comment below and please subscribe for more unbelievable facts about what lurks below.